What is up, guys, and welcome back to your boy at KBG Studios. All right, so we kind of messed up last time. We have some minor small issues here, uh, daughter things, you know. Try now that she's sleep, I'm able to try trial two. Um, I've taken the gun apart and try to clean it out as mostly as I can. Uh, got a couple, got a little bit of paint on the side here, but I want to try something a little bit different, a little bit different. So we're, we're using metallic uh, royal gold. Try something out here. Let's see how formula works with more of this milky shizniz. <sighs> okay. So it's not coming out like I want it to. I'm guessing because it's metallic paint, maybe. So let's go ahead and put a little bit more metallic paint. I didn't want to waste a lot of paint, so we just added a dashing lot more. Yeah, metallic paint looks like it's not going to work for this kind of branding. Yeah, it's not working. So, wait. We might have it here. We're gonna try something else. We're gonna try water next time. But uh, this is trial take two of the, the stuff. All right, so that's the color it came out to be. So hopefully, my bad, my bad. Hopefully that uh that uh works. Uh, crap, I didn't clean it out. Shizness, I forgot all about this too. The one thing that I forgot. Nah, who cares? It's trial. Alright. Well, it comes up with these little bubble spots. In it. Um, that's that blue, but it's coming with spots. I mean, the metallic paint looks like it's not going to pull from it, so let's go ahead and
Yeah, it leaves that air bubble looking stuff. It leaves like little air bubbles, so. So, uh, like I said, this is trial and error. So this is the air bubbles. All right. So the next thing is, um, obviously, we need to get all of that stuff out. So it's done. So now that we did that uh, trial and error, obviously. Oh, and I put my finger on that paint too. All right, so what, what we're going to have to do here is obviously. I don't know why it's so white instead of clear. I thought thinner was supposed to be clear. But um, all right, so from watching everybody on YouTube saying, you know, that day I got a little bottle of water here. Now just go ahead and pour water. Uh, I have a paintbrush somewhere right here. And just go ahead and give it a twirl around there. So it looks like regular metallic gold, royal gold, acrylic paint don't seem to work. So, like I said, it's nothing but trial and error. All it is, we're trying and we're getting our fail results here, our test items. So we're not, you know, not any hurt, not any, you know, anything like that. But we're gonna try water. We're gonna try adding, mixing water. To that instead of that thinner so I'm just trying to get all that water out so obviously there's probably still some more paint left in there go ahead in that right there go ahead twirl it twirl it give it a good twirl there <laughs> and then go ahead and shoot it out give her some airbrush cleaning go ahead and leak some in there not a lot I mean I, I really don't know how much should be in there I just think enough to fill up that brim and let it go and how far are we we are almost gone you can actually see the fumes come out from here it's kind of weird uh, Give it a couple more blows. All right, and there we go. So we're done with that. Um, obviously, there's probably a little paint left in that mix up there, but uh, we'll shoot it out. Yep, no more paint. All right, so we're going to slide the gun into this little holding area, turn it off. You know, the air out of the gun. Now we're going to go and obviously we need another jar or we're going to clean this jar out. I prefer just to clean this jar out. I actually clean both of these jars out. And, uh, you know, try to figure out what we're going to do. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to clean that jars out and everything. So, uh, so the metallic gold didn't really work out too well with that stuff. It gives you bubbles. So I don't know if there's a certain type of paint. I've been looking around and seeing, hey, can you mix this? Can you mix that? 
and not give you any bubble effect. That's the next step I have to look. I've just been mixing the uh, the water, mixing the, the stuff with the paint, assuming that it will come out great. Now I have to figure out what would be a good solution to make it where it's not bubbly. So now the jars are completely clean. Let's go ahead and give it another blow. Here, we're going to go ahead and this time we're going to go ahead and do both gold and water. Obviously there's still water in there, that's really fine to me. And so just a little water and then some metallic gold there. Um, I didn't shake that, uh, who cares? So let's go ahead and give it a blue. Got a little, a little more water in there. That's fine by me. Um, this time I'm going to do two different ways. I'm going to obviously take a paintbrush this time and twirl it around. Twirl it around. And uh, add some water to it. Not too much. Just adding some water to it. I don't know, obviously, beginner here, giving it maybe too much water, not enough paint. That's a little watery, so we don't want it watery, I'm assuming. Uh, this is some regular paint that I've gotten at Walmart. So if, if in need, I can just go buy more paint. It's not that inexpensive. And on top of that, I have multiple other ones. All right, well, that looks pretty nice. Not too watery and not too painy. I can say about that. Yeah, um, let's give that a shot. And clearly, the next one is... We're going to use, obviously, this thingy here to mix our metallic watery paint. And we're going to actually try it because that's not too, that's not, a, that's, that's a little thick, but not too thick. We don't want to mess up our airbrush. That's the only problem I have right now is thinking I'm gonna mess up my airbrush. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to take some more water. Can you see? Can you guys see? You probably can't see. And I'm gonna just try, try to add a dash. There we go. Not too much, a dash of water. And there we go. Not too watery, not too thick. Perfect. So we try two different methods of a little thickness and not too thick. All right, so let's go ahead and get those out of the way. Side. Let's go ahead with the gold. So we airbrush it off. Alright. Let's go ahead and get this gold in here. It is a little thick to say. We should need a lot, hopefully. This should go a long way. Let's hope and pray that this is the, the magic one. Nope. Still had bubbles in it. You can see it actually as they form. And it's a little too thick. It's also too thick too. Because it's coming out, but it's not.
yeah so basically when looking at it it gives you those air bubbles texture so let's go ahead and do our little quick mojo jojo here go ahead and just put it in there take this i overfilled that up let's go ahead and twirl this blue around a little bit because uh we obviously use for that paint to make sure which one we use the blue let's go ahead and yeah go ahead give it a mixture go ahead blow, blow stop go ahead get you deep in there <laughs> more natty jokes and let's go ahead and let that sink in there for a minute so a lot of things have been you know going with this project here uh having a hard time working obviously through the order everything let's just go ahead and keep that flowing some more yeah, that's some little drops a uh, little more would, wouldn't kill it would it hopefully it wouldn't all right spray a little bit in there give it a good old-fashioned twine Go ahead, take it out. All right, we're good to go. Now it's time for our second trial. Obviously, it's a liquidy blue. Just go ahead and pour just a little in there. There we go. It is a little runny. So what we will have to do here is Sorry, I do not want that all around my man. All right, now let's give this a shot. So it is a little watery. So. It still gives you that bubble effect there. It looks a lot nicer, but it still gives you that bubble effect. It's better than the metallic, I'll say that. It looks like now that we tried the the airbrushes of creating our own paint and it did not come out as suitable. So we're gonna end this whole trial and error stuff here. Uh, clearly we cannot get it to stop with the bubbles and everything. So, uh, but I'm still gonna keep going at this to see which paint works, which one doesn't. La di da da. And we're going to get this right. Eventually, I'm going to come back and make a whole nother one. But next time you guys see the actual work here done on to their heads, I'm going to actually go out and uh, look for some metallic uh, airbrush r airbrush paint um, and thinner. I'm going to look for some different stuff. I'm going to try out a whole different brand and everything. Uh, but I actually like that. That's actually nice because it gives you a brighter color of certain colors. Like that blue. Gives you a brighter blue. So I'm going to try out something new. Try out something a little different. Give it another twirl in there. 
we're going to take this whole gun apart and uh, clean it out. But we're going to try out some new stuff. We also, obviously, like I said, we're ed editing these videos as well. So this video will be edited. The scene where I said I'm going to go and wash these out. And cut that out and then come back. Maybe cut out some extra stuff. Maybe not. But this video is two, uh, 20 minutes long. 22 minutes at that. Uh, so all we are doing here is cleaning out this gun. Give that a twirl too. Yeah, and we're gonna clean out the whole gun and put this up for a couple of days. Not a couple of days, but you know what I mean. Put it up for a while. Cause uh, I got I got a lot of stuff that I got planned. Uh, hopefully we can get this up there. Well, we're going to not put it up. We're going to still work on it. We're going to do a couple of more trial and errors. We're just not going to record on it because we at least know what we're working with here. So, I think the next step here is before I do another video is I'm going to change I'm going to change actually the power. I didn't think of that. I did not think of that. Changing the power temperature. Maybe a lighter one. You don't need that much of a high. We just cleaned the gun out too. Still gives us that bubble effect, so it doesn't matter how you do it. Yeah, doesn't matter how you do it. It still gives you that bubble effect. So, does it? Yeah, I'm little bubbles. tried we have not succeeded yet and we're still working on it so that's it still gives you like that bubble effect to not as much especially if you spray on a lot and then I guess if you just move it like that move it just the air Spray it back on. Maybe if you do it from like far distance. Let's let's try that out. Far distance. You can't really tell that much, but you can see just a little bit, just a little bit. But how is that that far distance? Looks like you start the Nope, far distance, I got one bubble. One very bad bubble. I'm ready then. So, try and error for this one, complete. We changed the, the, the energy, obviously. So that didn't work out to what we planned on. But, all right guys, enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out, deuces.